Hello everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a process video for you that is, yes, another scrapbook and cards today inspiration video. Normally, the end of the month, I'm doing stuff where I show you how I'm using up my scraps from the month, but I remembered that I had this baseball kit that I purchased specifically to get some baseball photo scrapbooks so I could finish up that August album. And I hadn't done them yet. So that's what we're doing today. And that's also what you might see. Uh, well, I don't know if you're going to see it tomorrow because I haven't filmed that process video yet. But spoiler alert, tomorrow is off the board with pineapple paper. So come back tomorrow for another process video and see what I end up doing. Okay, so it's scrapbook and cards inspiration. Um, this is from the summer 2022 issue. And it was a scrap lift of a layout by Natalie D'Souza. Okay, so she's got... She had two um, equal looking sides, 12 by 12. And I couldn't tell if she was just taking like paper strips and creating the background or if it was, or if the background paper was that pattern. Um, I, I was trying to create something with paper strips that looked like hers. And then she's also got along the bottom, <clears throat> it kind of covers up some of that, some of the paper strips, um, just like white cardstock. And so I, I'm not doing the white cardstock. I didn't have any white cardstock or I didn't have any extra um, uh, solid color cardstock, although I, I kind of did. I still have, I still had some sheets of some of the solid color crepe paper that I purchased, but I wanted to use those on another baseball layout because I still have other photos <laughs> from this trip to the baseball game that I need to get scrapbooked. So um, I'm kind of doing things just slightly differently. So the background page is that brown, uh, which is from crepe paper. All the other pattern papers are also from crepe paper as well. And um, I've just cut those patterns into strips and I'm going to layer them up on top of the brown, but not so much that it covers the entire piece of the brown cardstock. So um, you're still gonna see some of that brown cardstock at the very bottom but then I will back my photos onto um, a different a different paper it's actually a, a greenish paper I think that's what you're looking at there it kind of looks similar to the brown but it's actually green it's kind of like a dark green and um, that green is going to eventually extend across both of both sides of this layout so there's some baseball glove pattern paper there's some patterns with images of gloves, fields, bats, masks, baseballs, that kind of thing. And then there's um, some baseball pattern one with cream and white colored baseballs. And then if you missed my haul video, I also picked up the enamel dots from this collection, the ephemera pieces from this collection, and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. One thing I will say about the ephemera pieces from this collection, Maybe I just got a bad batch, but some of them, it felt like there was a, a border that went around the design and it felt like they weren't cut out properly. So instead of the border being equal all the way around, you know, uh, the baseball, let's say for instance, the navy blue background is bigger on one side than the other. So a couple of those pieces, I did actually hand cut to get rid of that off center border because it was kind of bothering me. And, and I could tell there was something, there was something different because when you look at the sticker sheet, it has some of the same images on the sticker sheet and the sticker sheet, everything was perfectly centered. So if something happened with that ephemera pack, I'm not going to let it bother me too much. But just so you guys know, if you're thinking of purchasing it, if stuff like that bothers you, um, maybe you want to skip it. I don't, like I said, it could have just been a bad batch. Um, I don't know, but it happened and we're moving on. Um, something else I will also say about this crepe paper, paper I, I don't usually get crepe paper stuff because I find the texture of the cardstock, it's not real, I mean, it's very, it's thick but it's not really to my liking. And it also um, doesn't stick well with the ad the adhesive squares that I used because it's it's a little bit thicker and it's got that texture to it. So, you know, less, lessons learned, things to think about the next time I go to purchase a specific themed collection. 
Uh, if I see something from Crate Paper, maybe I will think twice about purchasing from them again. My favorites, uh, hands down, are always Simple Stories. Um, the American Crafts, the stuff that they make with their different design partners like Paige Evans and Jen Hadfield and Chamel. I like all of those. I like Echo Park. I think Echo Park and aren't Echo Park and Crate Paper owned by this uh, the same parent company? Actually, which American Crafts owns like everybody almost. Um or maybe I'm thinking Photoplay and Echo Park are owned by the same company. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, there are very few like manufacturers that aren't under a monopoly. So anyway, back to the layout. Um, I'm actually posting this after Thanksgiving. So if you are in the United States and you celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. I hope it was great and that you are recovering from all the food that you ate and that you made some really good stuff. That food was good, right? That's always the most important thing. All right, so this is a two-pager, so it's a little bit longer than a regular single-page layout, but bear with me. I didn't keep everything in. I did cut a few things out, so hopefully that helps um, shorten this up for time. But up in the top, I have got a little embellishment cluster along that, fo along that first photo at the top um, left, and then because Natalie's layout had stuff in the bottom left corner where there was like a big title that she did and a couple little embellishments. So I took the stickers that said play ball from the sticker sheet and made that be my title. And then I just layered up another sticker and an ephemera piece. Um, and I'm going to add some enamel dots down there and some enamel dots up to the top embellishment cluster. And there's also a sticker um, at the bottom of that first photo that says fan. And then I stuck uh, an ephemera piece that says baseball onto the other photo. Then again, I did that because Natalie has some stuff, some ephemera pieces on her photos, and I was trying to, number one, use up the embellishments, and number two, sort of mimic what she has created here. Um, the photos are from a trip last August, so August 2022. Um, we went to a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball game, and they have a really cool kids play area. There's literally a playground, a playground area, and then a couple little interactive things that you can do. And then even as you're kind of walking around the baseball stadium, there are other things like this bridge that's mimicking the bridges in Pittsburgh. And kids, it's kind of a jumpy bridge, so kids can like stand on it and jump on it. There are statues to get your picture taken with. There are signs to get your picture taken with. So if you are looking for a baseball experience that is very photo friendly go to the Pittsburgh Pirates and see one of their games we didn't stay for the whole game we were actually on our way home from vacation so we were driving through and we stopped to do the game and um and then we left but it was cool because we've never been there before and then my other set of photos that I still have to scrapbook from this uh trip are all the photos from the outside of the stadium so as you're walking along the the river I guess it is um you're getting to the stadium. They have different, almost like a, almost like a Hall of Fame setup of players, uh, baseballs with names of players on them, and then um, kind of like other numbers and statues or re retired numbers, I guess, for the Pirates is what they are. So it's it's pretty cool. If you don't like baseball, don't worry about it. If you don't like the Pittsburgh Pirates, like I don't really care because they're not my home team, but we enjoy going to baseball games and checking stuff out like that. So maybe you do too. Now we are on to the second page. Off camera, I adhere down my pattern paper strips the same way I did on the opposite page so that everything is um, equal. And uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it right now, but that's fine. So now I have to figure out how to get these photos cut down. There are five photos on Natalie's page, and I am also going to do five photos. She has one horizontal, and then the other ones are vertical. But you can tell that two of the vertical ones are a little bit bigger than the other two. So I'm going to do two photos that are, I think, a little bit less than three by four. Um, yeah, and then the other ones I think are, th I cut down to like three and a half by five. And then there was a, I had a four by six one, but there were some extra like bits in it. It wasn't a, a centered photo. So I just chopped off like the part that didn't look good and, and made it kind of centered. So I think that one actually is, might also be a little bit, I don't know if I trimmed, I don't think I trimmed from the top. So I just took a little bit off the side. So it's not, 
it's not four by six anymore, but it's, it's slightly, slightly chopped off on one side. And then um, that's going to go on the green background and my little three by four photos are going to go underneath it and they end up fitting within the green background. Now, I, I could have used um, a second sheet of the, that green paper because I did have an extra one. But like I said, I still have another layout to complete. So I wanted to save that solid cardstock for something else. And um, I had to use up the rest of the green that I had and it just didn't go as far across the second side as I would have liked, but I think I made it work. It's also not an equal, um, an equal height. So like the, the, you saw it just right there. The left-hand side is, um, I don't know what the measurements are, but it's more horizontal. Whereas the one on the right-hand side is more vertical. Now, Natalie didn't do that. Hers is equal on both sides. Um, doesn't matter. I don't care. And um, this is my layout and you can do whatever you want when you're scrap lifting because you're just taking inspiration. And really the main inspiration was just trying to get seven photos onto this spread basically. And then everything else kind of just was wherever, whatever I wanted to do, wherever I wanted to put it. So these two photos, Natalie's, they were up and right on top of each other, but because of just sizing wise, how everything fit, I did map those other photos on um, some of that kind of like a, a yellow, which actually was perfect for the Pittsburgh Pirates, but it's a yellow cardstock. It was actually the, op the other side of the green. So th I had extra leftover, a, le a leftover strip of that. So I just flipped it over and gave myself a little bit more color to work with on this side of the page. And now it's time for embellishments. And um, I liked Natalie had some, she was definitely using Pink Fresh products. So she has some like ticket stub looking things down in the bottom corner. Um, so I'm taking some stickers and embellishments that kind of look like tickets and I'm layering them up down there at the bottom. I'm going to do, I think, one, two, three more embellishment clusters. So one at the bottom of the photos one at the very top of the photos, and one kind of in the middle of the photos. And um, those are the same places that Natalie had her embellishment, excuse me, clusters. But of course, I'm not using the same collection that she is, nor do I have anything really like specifically similar aside from, you know, fray stickers and that kind of thing. So I'm just layering up some embellishments as, as I want to and trying to find ones that will that will fit. The sticker sheet has a lot of good stickers, but a lot of the stickers have words on them. So as opposed to just being images of things. Um, and sometimes I get a little like, ooh, too many words. I don't want to put too many things with words on the page because I don't know. I don't know why I just don't really like that. Maybe I feel it takes away from the title a little bit. I don't know. But I like things that are more images as opposed to words. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comments. When you're shopping for embellishments, do you prefer a lot of words? Do you prefer images? Do you prefer tags or maybe frames? Or maybe you're looking for journaling spots. What do you look for when you're looking for embellishments? Let me know down below. Also, let me know that you're here. If you don't want to answer the question, you don't have to. Just say hi down below. Leave me a comment. I'll still respond. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it is inspiring for you and that if you are enjoying it, you give it a thumbs up and you consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on other process videos. I got one more for this month. Like I said, it's tomorrow and it's going to be a surprise because I haven't even filmed it yet and I don't know what it is going to be. So I'll be as surprised as you, right? Anywho. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back to the channel and watching and listening to me jibber jabber about dumb stuff. And yeah, that's kind of what that's kind of what we do here. Um, so what else can I tell you about this layout? Um, so over here, uh, the, one of the pictures I cut down was actually uh, horizontal. And I had to decide which horizontal photo was going to be the actual horizontal photo. So the one that got cut down, you can still see my kiddo in it. I had to make sure I was cutting it so that she was actually in it. Because I thought, I don't think I just took a picture of random people on the playground. Um, but I did cut that one down to like the three and a half by five size. 
which actually worked out pretty well because there were a couple, you know, there's always like random people on the side and I cut those guys out. And, uh, but it was a really cool playground. And I know that if my daughter, she doesn't really care about baseball games, but she does care if there is a kid zone. So the Pittsburgh Pirates have a good kid zone. Um, the New York Yankees have a kid zone. It says it's for the little kids, but I still let her go in there. I mean, there were definitely like nine and 10 year olds playing around in there. And I thought you, kids are kids. You you gotta you gotta have something for you can't have something for like four year olds and not have something for five year olds. So anyway, um, what else? Oh, the um, St. Louis Cardinals have a really good kid zone, which is divided. There are two, so they have one for the littles and then they have one for the older kids, which is really nice. And I have been there twice. I think this year or recently. And they have a concession stand in there where you can get discounted food. And it's never open. So I don't know what's up with that, but I would love to take advantage of that deal. Here are the close-ups. I hope all my baseball information and my baseball layout, maybe both of them were helpful to you. But here is the, the finished layout together. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!